What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi here, flying solo today. She, she should be live with me at 6 Eastern. We'll cover some football. We'll cover some baseball. Um, hope you guys are all having a good Monday. Hope you had a good Sunday. Uh, it wasn't a big winner for me as my, I couldn't edit my lines for DraftKings for another two hours. Uh, I'm getting really frustrated with them. I may just have to stop play on DraftKings uh, during big tournaments because I can't even edit my lineups and they're not, they're not even refunding, which is really, really provoking um, because I have players that weren't even in lineups that weren't even playing. Um, so anyway, that's my little quick rant. We're going to get into baseball for today on this little video. I'm just going to talk quickly through this slate. Let me share my screen here and we will talk through what I'm going to basically be doing. We'll go game by game here. I think Pittsburgh Cincinnati is a really good game on both sides offensively. Um, you have the cheap options with Fraley, Friedel. Um, you also have uh, Steer at first base, who's only uh, 2,600. Uh, those would be my favorites on the Pittsburgh side. Castro, Brian Hayes has been really bad this year, but Castro, Hayes, and, and Reynolds would be my favorite over there. I do like this game for offense. I'm not currently using either of the pitchers, especially Miner would be the one who might stand out a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do it. I might revisit that later today, but I'm, as of right now, not planning on using him, not using the pitching. Uh, I think that Valdez, you can definitely do a Valdez strider lineup if you want to play the Pittsburgh Cincinnati game. You might be a little too chalky doing that. And I even think you could make an argument for Eduardo Rodriguez and the lineup he's facing. He's got about a 30% K rate. The problem is he also gets lit up by these guys. So I actually really like Houston as my contrarian team. My favorite, my favorite bats being doing just like this and then using the cheap McCormick to get a little bit and then figuring it out from there. But I do like Houston as a, as a sneaky stack. It's not great hitting weather in Detroit today, but I think that this is going to be a low owned stack that I want to get some pieces of. Cause I think everyone who pays up will be playing the Dodgers, which means if you want to play Houston and the Dodgers, you're going to have to double spend down at pitching uh, at least a little bit. I am going to gamble and I probably play it more than most people, but I am going to gamble on Berrios tonight. I am looking to save cause I want to play the Dodgers with Houston so he is one of the guys I'm considering using. You can see he's sort of been all over the map, but we know the ceiling is there. Uh, if he gets it going, he's a little, he's very streaky. Uh, it's very hard to, to get a read on what, exactly what, what Barrios you're going to get. But as of right now, I do have him as one of my four pitchers that I'm going to be using. And uh, I think he's an interesting play. Uh if you're going to, if you're going to try to spend down a little bit, not really getting to much of Toronto today, but I have no problem if you want to try and do that. I'm worried about this Mets Cubs game, uh, even playing the Mets would be the other stack that it's an expensive one that you could, you could definitely take shots on against the side. I think they're really, really reasonable to take shots. I think they'll even be a little bit higher owned uh, if the, if the weather's okay, than Houston, if not, then, then I think it might shift a little more towards Houston, but the Mets, I have a little bit, I have behind the Dodgers and Houston, so I won't be playing much of them. I would be playing some Bassett if if uh, the game's a, a go with no delay worry, but I'm not in love with it where it currently stands. Uh, the weather does worry me a little bit there. Um, this is just a game I'm really not doing much of anything with, and I don't mind if you want to try and do some of anything, uh, whether you wanted to use uh, Garrett, whether you wanted to use some of the bats in this game. I just personally am not doing much in this one myself. Dodgers, Arizona. I like this for the Dodgers quite a bit. Nelson was really good in his first start against San Diego. He has been awful all season at AAA and it's the Dodgers. So I am very happy to try to get the Dodgers in. As you can see, though, very expensive, especially when you try to compare them with Houston, to pair them with Houston. You do have the cheap outfield options in Gallo, Bellinger, and Taylor that you can fill out your stacks with. But that's a little bit of what I'm thinking about today. And I, I do really like both of the uh, the Dodgers, Houston, and then filling it in with the Cincinnati and, and Detroit, uh, I'm sorry, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh game. The last one, I, I actually have interest in Alex Cobb tonight at low ownership. I like both the pitchers in this game. Uh, Strider's obviously the number one pitcher on the slate. But Alex Cobb, I actually think Atlanta has enough strikeouts in their lineup. And I think Cobb at home here with a huge downgrade in park for, for Atlanta is another guy who I might use. So you might see a Cobb, uh, a Cobb, some, uh, excuse me, a Cobb Barrios lineup in my, in my main one right now, just because I'm trying to get a little bit different. But Strider is the best play. I think Strider, Bassett, and Strider, Valdez both make sense. I just think that this is something that I'm considering doing. So that's a quick rundown of what I'm doing today. Uh, again, we'll cover some NFL at six Eastern. We'll cover some MLB still, and let's make some money guys. Let's have a good week. Uh, I'm going to be gone most of the week. Unfortunately, uh, I have to go up to Idaho to I have a thing with my kid up there and uh, I will be doing my best, but it's going to be a, a tricky week for me. So good luck to everybody. I hope you guys all have a great night. Hopefully we'll see you at the top of the leaderboards.